folks, Rosemary here with Travel with Ro. Today we're going to talk about how to surprise someone with a Disney vacation. Okay, so I have got a mess of stuff around me. I want to show you guys some examples of ways to surprise people with Disney vacations. Today I'm going to be focusing a little bit more on a Disney cruise, but we're going to go over just Disney vacations in general, how to surprise them, what to surprise them with, and how to do it. <laughs> Okay, so I have, I am currently planning my second surprise, so that's why I have this stuff around me that I'm going to show you. Um, I've done it before where we went to Walt Disney World, so, you know, Magic Kingdom, Epcot, that kind of stuff. Um, and of course, this works for Disneyland as well, and I'm going to insert a picture to sort of show you I wrapped up a box for, uh, it was around the kids' birthdays. They had already picked out suitcases themselves at Target for, you know, I told them it was for like visiting family or something, I don't remember, but I had let them pick out suitcases already, so they had those ready to go. But I, I packed this box, and what I did was I had a flyer, uh, well, a couple pages full of pictures to sort of give them an idea. I'm a very visual person, so I like to see things. I love flyers, even if they're digital. <laughs> it's like, it, it helps me to be able to see things. That's one of the reasons I make videos. Um, and so we had that and then we were going, my kids were a little bit younger. I'm trying to remember, I don't remember exactly how old they were. Um, but we were going to stay at the Art of Animation specifically because we were huge on Ariel at that time. Still are, but you know, it's, it's, it was really big back then when they were small. So I wrapped up a box full of, well, it was two boxes, so they each opened one. They had like matching Ariel pajamas, matching Ariel flip-flops for the pool, um, and the flyers with the, all the different pictures and also autograph books. Um, and we wound up buying Disney themed pens once we once we got there, like at downtown. Oh, I'm sorry, Disney Springs. I still call it downtown Disney sometimes. The one in, in Florida used to be called that many, many years ago. <laughs> and um, it's not anymore. They've changed the name. But um, so they got that box of stuff and sort of opened it. And it was like, hey, there's some Disney stuff in these pictures. And it was like, you guys are going to Disney. And one of the reasons that I don't surprise my kids last minute is actually, there's a few reasons, but one is because when they were opening their boxes um, and they were, they were little, I want to say my littlest was maybe five at the time. So I happened to be looking right at my older daughter when I said, you know, you're going to Disney World. And my younger daughter looked right at me with these big eyes and said, what about me? Oh my God. I was like, oh. Yes, we're all going, everybody's going. But um, so that kind of takes me off on the tangent of I am not a huge fan of surprising people super last minute. That's something that a lot of people do. I see it all the time. I'm in a lot of different groups, uh, travel agent groups, as well as traveling groups. And people surprise their kids. You see it on like TikTok or YouTube. Um, I, don't, I don't like to surprise last minute for me. I don't do last minute <laughs> at all. I am not a last minute person. My kids kind of take after me that way too. So um, for me, you know, I need to give my kids at least a little bit of notice because maybe they want to pack their favorite stuffed animal or maybe they want to pack a specific outfit, you know, that they have to wear or what if I forget to pack something they want? Some people like to tell their kids like, oh, we're going on this trip or we're gonna go see grandma, but first let's stop over here by the port to like eat lunch. But then they go to the port and they're like, guess what, that ship right there, we're getting on it. And if that was me, I would kind of panic and freeze if somebody did that to me. I wouldn't be able to handle it. And, and I know at least one of my kids would probably panic as well. <laughs> so I don't do super last minute like that. Some people do it if, if your kid is into that, then you do you, um, but it wouldn't it wouldn't work for us. So I always give my kids at least a little bit of notice with surprises, even if it's just a day or two. Um, in in that case, it was that time those surprise was about maybe a week in advance. This time, I am telling them about a month and a half in advance. So they're going to have about six weeks to sort of get excited about it and plan, um, because that was when I was able to. <laughs> get a get a booking so we're going on the cruise they don't know yet I'm telling them on Christmas morning they're gonna open up a box I'm doing one box and it is sort of what I'm doing 
is I got one of these sweater boxes. So it's like a t-shirt box, except it's bigger. It looks huge on camera. Um, and I got like stitch paper, cause you know, at least stitch is sort of tropical, even though we're going to the Caribbean, not Hawaii, but still sometimes you see stitch on, on the boat or on Castaway. Um, but so I'm gonna wrap it up just like a present and it's gonna be sort of set to the side so that it's special, but I'm gonna fill it with things that are cruise related. So like I mentioned earlier where I had a flyer, this is a flyer that I made. Um, we're going on a Disney cruise and it shows the cruise ship, the lobby, cause we're going on the wish. And um, so I, I put pictures of the restaurants. I put pictures of the shows, the Broadway shows that we're seeing, some of the pool and the aqua mouse. And then on the back, you can see there's pictures of the Bahamas, of Castaway Key, of Pirate Night, of what the room itself looks like on the kids club. Because um, again, I want them to be able to physically see something with pictures and hold it and just look at it. It's not, it's. It's not the best quality because I don't have the best printer, so I'm like halfway running out of ink on these things. But essentially, I um, will wrap this up along with, I found some boarding pass templates on Etsy. So you have tickets and it's a boarding pass that you can sort of fill out on your own and it comes printable with this pattern on the back. So it kind of just looks a little bit more professional and it's got the Disney cruise line symbol and the boat. And it says, you know, we're going to the Bahamas in February. And it's, it's got all that stuff there for them. Um, I went back and forth about laminating these. I decided just to leave it as the paper, but I'm going to wrap this up because again, this is a tangible item that they can hold that shows, you know, it's a ticket you're going on a cruise. And along with that, so the flyers and the boarding pass, and then I got this guy. This ship, oh my gosh, you guys. It's adorable. It says Disney on the back. It is the actual, it's got the little Mickey symbol, if you can see it. This is a paper craft that I will include the link to. And it comes with, comes like this. These are the instructions. And I printed this on cardstock, so it's nice and thick. Here's the instructions. I well, actually I meant to print that on paper, but you know, whatever. And essentially the boat comes in two pages. You cut it out, you glue it together. Now I started this with my little glue stick you can see behind me. That did not last long before I went ahead and changed my hot glue gun and burnt myself. Uh, it didn't take too long to cut out, even though there's all these little pieces. Um, I was watching TV, I had the TV running, and it, it didn't feel like it took that long. I made some changes as I was doing it. I didn't include the top of the funnels, I didn't include the little um, tower wings because I got fed up <laughs> and that was, yeah. So I printed a second one partially to show you guys and then I was going to actually create the second one so I could wrap two of them because you know I have two kids and I'm not so sure I'm doing that anymore. This was maybe more than it was worth, or um, maybe it's because I have a cold, or I'm just trying to wrap everything else for Christmas. But I think I'm just gonna put this to the side and like offer it to my kids to let them do it if they decide to. But it is definitely really cool. It comes with also a castaway key um, diorama that you can print with a cute little island with a pirate ship and everything so that, um, they, kids can play with that. I've also got a copy of like Captain Mickey, a little 3D one. So if you're really, you have the time and you're all into it, man, go all out, print all of it. Um, <laughs> it's a cute play set. Uh, I'm doing it more for the novelty of it. I don't know that my kids are gonna play with it, but it's, it's 3D all around. There's a pool on the top. There's all the little lifeboats and it looks just like a Disney, Disney ocean liner, like a cruise ship. So those are all my paper stuff. We've got the ship and we've got the tickets and we've got the flyer, right? But that's not all I'm wrapping. I am also going to throw in a couple of matching t-shirts. I don't go like all out. A lot of people will get fancy t-shirts with their names and the year and everything. I mean, for me, I got some of these best day ever generic Disney shirts um, from Kohl's and uh, 
on sale. <laughs> But this way it's like they kind of match, but they're not exactly. And it's just got um, something though that it's very obvious that if for some reason they didn't notice all the other stuff I showed you, they would see the shirt and just be like, oh my God, Mickey, are we going to Disney? And be like, kind of, Disney at sea. And, um, but one of my favorite parts is that I went on Etsy and I got some um, specific like personalized ears. I'm sitting too tall for this. So I will, uh, I'll link to these as well, but you can find them by like just searching online, you know, Disney cruise ears, things like that. And, um, but so these, these ones, I'm trying to make sure I'm actually on camera. These ones I got off of Etsy, um, and they're really good quality. All the sparkles are just neat and it has the ship name and it has the Disney Cruise logo. So I just thought, you know what, let's get them. I have no idea if my kids will actually wear them that much. And I figure it doesn't matter because I'll wear them. <laughs> but, um, because people do wear ears on the cruise, not as much as you see, you know, in other places because you're just relaxing and on vacation. Um, but I figure at least when we board, we'll get a few photos and stuff like that. So I am just really excited about the ears. Can you tell? I'll try to get them up here so you can see them. Hello. And, uh, but yeah, they're good quality and I'm excited about that. So it kind of makes it really obvious when they open up the present and they see ears and a cruise ship. I mean, come on. This, this right here, if, if that's not obvious, yeah. But anyway, so that's, that's what I'm doing, but I do have some other ideas for you. Um, now, for example, some people like to do something like scavenger hunts. Scavenger hunts are very popular. So for example, maybe you give them a clue and then that clue leads them somewhere else in the house and there's a little present that's like sort of hints at the vacation but you're not quite sure what it is yet and there's a clue that leads you somewhere else that leads you somewhere else and then at the very end, it's sort of like you're going on a cruise or it could even be a puzzle. Puzzles are a big one too. Um, for me, I'm not sure that I wanna go to the trouble of, of buying one. There's lots of different ways you can do it. Um, you can get a personalized puzzle on Walgreens or Zazzle or something like that and um, or, or just order one um, off of Etsy from from a artisan that makes one for you. And you can um, sort of wrap up the puzzle. And then as the kids are putting the puzzle pieces together, depending on how old they are, how much of a reader they are, um, they get the little clues and they're sort of putting it together. And it's like, <gasps> it's sort of slowly revealing itself. Um, but I mean, you know, unless they see the one symbol that has like the cruise ship and they're like, wait a second, uh, some kids get it really fast. But regardless, puzzles are still kind of fun. Um, and the scavenger hunt is big, you know, cause it can be things like, you know, where do we keep our Disney mugs? And then they go in the kitchen and then they find it. And it's like, well, where do your dirty socks go? And then the next clue's in the laundry basket, you know, things like that. Um, now there's also principal things you can find online. Um, Again, on Etsy, sometimes you can just find them to, to, for free to print where it's a countdown poster. So countdown calendars, you can get um, something printed. Uh, you can just find it by Googling it or get a personalized one off of Etsy and you put it in a frame, like even a dollar store frame, but it's got that glass on it. You can write on it with a, um, a whiteboard marker. So um, when they open up the box or find it or whatever it is, and it says like, we're going to Disney in 30 days and it's, it's already there, you know, or five days. Um, and then you can count down on that. There's lots of fun countdown things. You know, people have the paper rings so that if you're telling them a little bit in advance, there's something interactive that they can do. You know, when you, you hang up like the rings of paper, it looks like a paper chain and you tear one off every day. Um, or you have that countdown calendar where you're writing how many days, something like that. Um, almost even like an advent calendar sort of thing where it gives them the opportunity to uh, be thinking about it. You know, you can create a music playlist ahead of time so that they can be listening to different songs like maybe, um, you know, Yo Ho Ho if you're, you're going on a Caribbean cruise, it can be that sort of thing. Um, and uh, a movie playlist too on Disney Plus, you know, maybe if you're going to the Caribbean, maybe you're gonna watch Muppets Treasure Island or something like that, you know? Um, and so those are other options to keep them excited about it up until you you go. Um, 
Now, some of the stuff that you could have, say, on a scavenger hunt uh, idea or just wrapping up in a box. So, for example, things that you can surprise kids with. Of course, there's always ears. Ears are a big one. But if you are going, for example, to the Caribbean, most of the Disney cruises do go there, um, but not all of them. But one of the some of the stuff that you can include are snorkels and masks. Um, those are the type of things that are sort of neutral. Gives them the idea they're going on vacation somewhere where there's going to be water. But it doesn't give away exactly what you're doing yet. So it sort of builds it up. And along that way, you can include things like sunglasses or flip-flops or bathing suits or a waterproof phone case for the older ones. Um, and again, if you want to theme all of these things as Disney, you can still do that. Uh, but they don't have to be. Um, you know, when, like I said, when, when my kids were little, I got them aerial theme flip-flops, you know, um, but that kind of gives it away right away. So it depends on if you're filling up a box or if you're doing a scavenger hunt, you can determine what works best for you. Now, there are also things like the autograph books, like I mentioned, or a travel journal is nice for kids to kind of keep track if they're already writing, but even if they're not really quite writing too much. Sometimes even when they're younger, they still like to draw in them. Um, and you can print pictures afterwards and add them in. Um, you can get a Disney themed water bottle. Um, and books are good too. Um, especially if kids are, if they're old enough that they're already reading, you can get like Disney, uh, princess chapter books. You can get Marvel comic books, you know, um, Star Wars graphic novels or whatever there's so many options depending on what it is that you are going for if you're going for a marvel day at sea or star wars day at sea then maybe you want to you know it, sort of make it thematically match that um or you might just want to stick with whatever it is your kid really loves your kid is really into tiana get her some princess and frog stuff you know um but also like i said there's the t-shirts you can get matching t-shirts for everyone you can get lanyards um, they usually give you lanyards if you're a silver uh, Castaway Club member or above, but like if this is your first cruise, you're not going to get them and I, they usually give them to you later, but sometimes it's nice to just pick their favorite character and get one that matches. Um, but essentially there's also toys, all kinds of toys. It's maybe not so much for the surprise but it's nice to have a few brand new toys that they've never seen before when you're going on vacation um and that includes for a cruise because you might have to sit in the terminal for a few minutes while they're getting everybody on board or things like that so to have something in your carry-on where it's um you know maybe again they're star wars fans so you go to like five below or the dollar store and you find a little grogu toy it's something that's brand new to them last thing um, so aside from all the other stuff that we've talked about, there are also, uh, you can package up ducks or magnets, that sort of thing. If you're doing a fish extender, you can box up the fish extender to show them it just as a surprise, uh, if it's like a big box, but, um, I'm making some videos about cruise ducks, about Disney cruise door magnets, things like that. So those are also things that you can wrap up. So essentially you just want to give your kids an a peek at what's going on, uh, a little hint at it, and of course my favorite is always like sort of a flyer, but I also bookmark a couple of YouTube tours. Um, I even bookmarked like a deck by deck tour that we'll sit down and watch one day. Um, so those sort of things are great for, you know, surprising people with the different ideas. So I would love to hear in the comments um, if you've surprised somebody with a vacation and a uh, Disney World and or cruise either way um, I would love to hear your ideas I'm always looking for new ideas there's so many great ideas out there and um, so please share with me don't forget to like and subscribe if this video helped you at all hopefully it did and you got some good tips and thank you for watching see y'all later